on board. Spoiler, you're on camera. A few kilometers in the Balan's Azaz. We've climbed the Grand Balan so far and some other little one. At the top of this climb there's going to be lunch. Looking forward to that. Got to keep the calories going in. And then we make for La Planche de Belfi for the final climb of today. Promise to be a tough one. Climbed it before. I know what's coming, especially the gravel section at the end. That's going to be difficult. So here we are, going up the Planche de Belfi about halfway. We just had a horrible bonus climb uh, called the Chevre. Uh, hit 80% in places and lots of gravel. Anyway, we just better go on a little descent on this climb. Always fun. It means you've got to make up the, uh, the elevation loss again. Pretty hot and sweaty now. It's been mostly 30 degrees today. 34 in plain sun, but we've got some cloud cover here. So the legs have got a bit more work to do and uh, whew, yeah, gravel section at the end, woohoo, beer even better. See you later. <laughs> so, it was awesome. Dino, Rob, we've just finished the Planche de Belfi. It's going to be a tough climb. How did it go for you? It was awesome. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Rob? For me, it was a real struggle, actually, because, because I'd actually saved some energy for it, but it all went on the climb before, which was just a nightmare, horrible climb, which nobody had told me about. Yeah. So, uh, no, I was knackered. <laughs> it, was, it was wicked hard, actually. Yeah. But, uh, and I did almost bite it in the gravel. Because I stood up and spun a wheel. Oh no, did you? Like, but, but, we, but, but we did it, and more importantly, there's a beer. Yeah. There's a beer. It's very good. Recovery still, still beer. Yeah. Well done, chaps. Fantastic. in the van, if you can hear this, above the noise of the hailstones. Riding up the start of the Col de Soulor. As you can see in the shade at the moment, which we're very grateful. Temperature about mid 
twenties. Not at all later. Expecting that to be in full sun, mid thirties. It's going to be tough. See you at the top. So I'm about halfway up the tour today now. Just about losing sight of my group. They're just around the corner up ahead. Starting to split up. Uh, 9k, well, 10k down, 9k to go. This is the first, first time I've seen the tour today. I've been up and down it a couple of times, but always when it's been raining. It's just beautiful. Temperature is 37 at the bottom, but as we're going higher, it's dropping. We're getting some shade, and it's uh, 29 degrees now. I think I've properly acclimatized. It feels, uh, feels good. It feels good. Cracking on. Peloton going down. And Peloton on the left hand side come to a standstill. I can hear Martin behind me, dulcet tones. The AG2R in brown. Go for it. AG2R wear brown, don't they? Yep. That's the that's their team. There's Martin giving it some eight to go on the tourmalet. Less than eight. This is what we can see. As we go here. So 3k left now, and they're coming into view. You can see all the camper vans. They're here for the tour, which will be passing next week. That's, summer, that's someone's idea of a summer holiday in a camper van for a week in the middle of nowhere. I say middle of nowhere. It's a stunningly beautiful climb, I'm loving every minute of it. I head there. You can see the top of a ski lift of some sort. We're heading there. Well, what a fantastic day that was. Uh, arrived safely at the top of the Tourmalet and uh, descended 4k down to our hotel for this evening. It's just gone four o'clock, so I've got time for a massage and uh, to rest up ahead of a big day tomorrow. Uh, we've got a three hour coach transfer to get to the beginning where we start riding and it's got a monstrous day, last day in the Pyrenees tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm going to rest up now. Great day. Riding along, smelling the pine on the uh, gravity cycle path that's leading from Rumula up to uh, the Pont du Gard, which we'll see in a moment. And here we are, approaching the Pont du Gard. Delivering water to Nîmes 2,000 years ago from the River Gard. Just gone on to the Pont du Gard there. And the bridge has been built alongside it. bridge now and here's the forest. Uh, I just had an interesting conversation with the security man. He said uh, we didn't have authorization. Fairly sure we do. Anyway, um, we've all gone through now and he's left trying to find out who authorised this. A bit late because uh, hey, we're nearly done. Nice here, isn't it? Here's the cicadas, hopefully. That's got a soundtrack. And here we have a human arrow. Hello, human arrow. We're making our way towards Gap today. Passing through Provence. We've been through Orange and Vez on La Romaine. Uh, seems nice. Gorges. Rocky outcrops, uh, the vines are giving way to olive trees and fruit trees. 
and it's generally a beautiful day. We've had Mont Ventoux looking down over us. Saying, why aren't you coming to see me? Give me some beans, people. Nearly lunchtime. So we just had lunch, and here's it's a great shot cycling through the lavender fields. Let's go to the next speed station which will be the last one for the day. Still going to have a long run into Gap after that, so um, oh, let's hope we get an ice cream somewhere. Everybody else is opening the whole